Okay, boys, what is going on? Okay, today, fitness starts, as you guys already know. I'm sorry for that. I'll try edit as much of it out, but it is raining here, which is a bit of a problem. Oh, my... It's... Um... It started. It started. Oh, my gosh. It started. It started. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to look at all of them. Okay, okay. I'm going to try edit out as much sound as possible, guys. Oh my gosh, this is godly. Ah, oh, fitness is amazing, guys. I miss this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Zaha, we'll look at his card quickly. His long shot's not great. Volley's not great. You see, this is a card I'm not really too interested in. The curve, not great. Not a great card, in my opinion. This is a card I'm very interested in. Lucas Torreira. Let's see what he's got. Okay, good long shots. Good shot power. Defending stats are great. Um, stamina is great. I think this could be another Kante, guys. So I think we're gonna do Torreira. Let's see what else is here. Um, this one, you wait for road to the final Champions League players. Or team move. Okay, so they've got different requirements for all of them. Okay, that's very interesting. Very interesting, guys. This is so mad. I've missed fitness so much. Dude, this is so easy. Arsenal players. I've got an Arsenal player right now. Alexander Lacazette. Wait, where is he? Oh, he's on my trade pile. Okay, let's actually look at Alejandro Gomez's card. He's actually got a really good card. Just apart from his finishing, that's the only problem I would say with his card. Stamina is not great. Everything else I would say is great, but jeez, I've missed this. Okay, let's just look at the store in case anybody wants to buy packs. Store is different. As you would presume, fitness has started, guys. Jeez, I've missed this so much. Three new player SBCs every 24 hours. Special fitness objectives, okay? Anything else? Okay, nothing else. Wow, this is amazing, guys. Wow, that's good. That is good. Definitely going to do that. Footmas kit. Wow, guys, they've really done great stuff for this. Well, I'm very impressed, guys. Okay, so I really think I'm either. So one of my friends actually called that Lucas Torreira would get a card. Uh, I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if I can do all of them, but I'm not too sure if I can do all of them. But I'll see what I can do. I will come back. With all the squads completed, and I'll show you guys the cheapest methods for all of these cards. So yeah, don't go anywhere. Okay, boys, so as you can see, we are doing the Lucas Torreira SPC. I think he's the only one out of these three players that are actually worth it. Um, so as you can see, guys, um, it's quite a cheap squad. First, you're going to look at Klein and think, why am I using this card? Basically, so I have him in the club. You can use his normal card. We'll get the same uh, rating. Just I have him in the club, so I was like, why not just use him? Um, so basically, we have um, a very cheap squad. Viviano, cheap. Uh, Jonas is not there. Klein, cheap, his normal card. Um, Cotes, cheap. Uh, he's gone up in price because of the Uruguay player needed. Um, Felipe also was quite cheap. I know it's his first owner, but he was quite cheap. Gustavo also, I'm pretty sure, was quite cheap. I did pack him though. Shakiri, look at his price there, very cheap. Danilo Pereira, quite cheap. Um, Pizzi, I know, is also quite cheap. Keita, look at the price of him, quite cheap. Bruno Fernandes, I sniped him today for 1.4. He goes for about 2k, I'm guessing. And Lacazette goes for about 4k, but you do need an Arsenal player. So, yeah, that's Lucas Torreira SBC done. I honestly rate this card a lot. Um, a lot of people are comparing him to Kante, which I think is a very reasonable comparison. I mean, if you look at his stats, I kind of compare these stats, and they're very similar. Um, everything on Lucas Torreira in the passing side, shooting side, and pace side is better. A, a bar, um, Torreira's finishing Kante's is better. Um, but a majority of everything in uh, this card is just better. I mean, he's got a great card overall. I think the physical's are only problem, I would say personally. But he's got good stamina. He is a bit weak. Let's just look at this quickly. Uh, he's got good work rates, as you can see. Um, for four star skill moves, very good. Three star weak foot, not great, but it's not terrible. So his balance and agility are great. Ball control, great. His passing stats are quite good. His long shots, decent. Shot power, very good. Finishing, not great at all. But 
how often you're going to use them up front. Um, stamina, aggression, great. Marking, stand tackling, interceptions. It, overall, I would say this is a great card. Comparing it to Kante, I think this might be better. If you're comparing uh, price as well, obviously you would rather choose Kante. Um, another thing I saw is they have brought new icons, which is amazing. I just want to look at Kante stats quickly, just to see and give you like an indication sort of of how similar the cards are. So um, I'm just going to take him off, put Torreira there, Torreira, Torreira, and I, I I'm kind of knew that Torreira was going to come out because. On this day, there's not a lot of great players that come out uh, with not a good kit numbers. But yeah, um, so as we can see, Kante compared to Torreira, the only thing better about Kante is he's defending and physical, and it is marginally better. But it depends what you're looking for. Personally, in my team now, um, I probably won't use either of them because I do use Fabinho, but um, he would be a great pass of the ball and everything like that. Um, let's just look at his in-game stats quickly. Kante does have... So shooting aspect, no. Pace aspect, no. Passing aspect, dribbling, nothing is better. But defending stats are quite better. But apart from that, Torreira is a great card to use. I really recommend you guys do pick him up. I think he's the best out of this set that you can get. I honestly do feel he is one of the better players. Um, uh, Alejandro Gomez, don't think he's that great. Good card for Super Sub, but not many people use a Serie A team. If you use a Serie A team, get him in your team. But uh, Wilfred Zaha, not great in my opinion. Curve and long shots, not great. And I'm quite of a long shot player. But anyway, that's going to wrap up the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash the like button down below subscribe to the channel and i want to say thank you so much for the support on the laporte video it's almost on like 3,000 views which is crazy but yeah thanks guys for watching peace let's just get into the sbc now as you guys can see in the top left corner you can see my coin balance is like 5,600, and i've got 1050 fifa points i did not buy those fifa points they just came onto my account somehow i have no idea uh, I can't speak English either. I have no idea how 